Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how you can show an alert using SwiftUI in iOS 15. SwiftUI has an alert modifier that lets you easily show an alert that you can customize. So let's go through a few examples of how you can set up and show the alert. We're going to start with the simplest alert, which includes just a title. When creating this alert, we need to provide a binding to a Boolean value. When this Boolean becomes true, then the alert will be displayed. So I have an empty project here, and we're going to start by first adding this Boolean variable. So this is going to be a state variable at state private var. Uh, let's call this show alert, which is of type bool, and it will start out as false. Now, um, in the body of our uh, content view, we're going to get rid of this text and we're going to add a button. And this button will just say show alert. And when you tap the button, we're going to set the show alert Boolean variable to true. Uh, let me resume the preview. Um, now, uh, we can use the alert modifier to actually display the alert. And like I said, we're going to use a simple alert and for now it will only include a title. So let's add here alert. And you can see there are uh, many different initializers that, that we can use. Um, we're going to use a very simple one here. For the title, we're going to say something like uh, hello. For the is presented parameter, we pass a binding to a, a boolean. So we use the dollar sign and we can pass here show alert. And for the actions, we're going to leave this empty. Now, when you don't provide any actions, the system will automatically add um, the OK action for us. So I think that that should be uh, that should be okay. So let's actually play our preview. And if we tap here on show alert, you can see that our alert is displayed with the title hello and the default okay button. Now we're going to update our, our alert so that it also shows a message and some uh, some custom actions. So one thing we can do, um, let me pause our preview here and do some formatting. So um, uh, what we'll do is uh, first we're going to add the message. So this can be something like um, a text and our text will just say um, this is a message. Now for the actions, let's add first um, a cancel action. So I'm just going to add here a button that will say cancel. And uh, we're going to leave the actual, um, the action of the button empty. So it will just uh, dismiss the, the alert. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's try and resume our preview. Oh, I need a colon here. And okay, if we press show alert, you can see that we have a title and we also have the alerts message. And if we press cancel, then the alert is dismissed. Um, now we're going to add another action that will be a destructive action. So we will add a role to our, our button. So let's get let's copy and paste this cancel button. And we're just going to say something like delete data. And we're going to provide the role of destructive. And as you can see, this indicates that the button is destructive. So basically it uh, executes an action that cannot be reverted. So for example, something like deleting some user data um, from the user's device. So let's do that. And 
if we play a preview, we can show alert and you can see we have the delete data action and it's in red. So this indicates that the action is destructive. Another thing is that when you have a destructive action, the system will automatically add a cancel button. So we can actually get rid of the one that we had added. And if we show our alert, we have our title, the message and the cancel button. Uh, added by the system, as well as the delete data button that we set up to be destructive. Now, suppose that we want to use some dynamic data to generate the content of the alert. Maybe this data is based on which button a user taps, or maybe there's some other logic happening behind the scenes, and the content of our alert depends on the result of this logic. We can use another version of the alert modifier that includes the presenting parameter. And this uh, presenting parameter will, um, will be a piece of data so we can like uh, create a, a structure and provide it as the data that is used to populate the alert. So um, let's say we want to have like three different buttons and depending on, on which one is pressed, then uh, we are going to populate uh, our alert. Um, for now, we're just going to show like um, uh, favorite hobbies, for example. So let me add first a struct and I'm going to call this hobby and it will be identifiable. So let's add here an ID of type UUID and to create a hobby you have to provide the name of the hobby which is uh, a string. Um, now we are going to update uh, our UI a little so let's actually um, copy the code for the alert and uh, I'm going to get rid of these and add a vstack which will have a spacing of um, 8. Below the vstack we're going to have the code for the alert which uh, we're going to modify in a second. Um, and now we're going to add a variable, a state variable, which will hold the hobby. So private var uh, hobby which is of type hobby and it's optional so this can be nil for when the alert is not uh, displayed then the data is, is nil and what we'll do is that whenever the uh, hobby is set if uh, hobby is not nil so basically if a hobby is present then we will set show alert to true and now in our uh, vertical stack, we're going to uh, add three different buttons. So let's add the first one. Um, this button, let's say we're going to use emojis. So here I'll use um, maybe a tennis ball. And the action of this button will be to populate the hobby variable. And the name of the hobby is um, playing tennis. Uh, let's actually copy and paste this so we're going to have two more buttons. Let's update this, the button string. For this one maybe we can use a video camera and the name of the hobby is um, watching YouTube videos. And for the third one um, maybe you like reading so the name of the hobby is uh, reading books. Okay, um, so as you can see we have now three different buttons. Let's actually resume our preview so that it's updated. Okay, so we have uh, three different buttons here, but if we press them, um, we set show alert to true and we haven't modified the code for our alert, so we still have the title and the message and the other buttons that we added. Um, so we're going to update the, the alert. Um, let's actually update the title to something like uh, my favorite uh, hobby is dot dot dot. Um, is presented will not change, but now we're going to add the presenting parameter 
and the alert will be presenting the current hobby. Um, for the actions, we are going to leave this empty, so underscore in. And for the message, we are going to take the hobby that is in the data that we're providing to the alert, and we're going to show the hobby's name. So hobby dot uh, name. Okay, so the modifications here are we updated the title, um, is presented, still holds the same Boolean variable. We added the presenting parameter, which is the data that will be presented in the alert. We left the actions empty, so we're only going to have the default uh, OK action. And we updated the message so that it shows the hobby that the user selects um, in, in the alerts message. So let's go ahead and test our code. So if I press the tennis ball, you see our alert is updated and it says my favorite hobby is playing tennis. And we can do the same and press a, a different button. So we press the book icon and the alert is updated. And um, the same happens for videos. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. As you can see, showing alerts with Swift UI is super simple and uh, alerts can be very effective to uh, give notice to a user when an action happens or maybe when an error occurs. So I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting new videos very soon.